Arlington, July 10th. Uh, we've had flooding since about the 4th of July. And this is looking at the Port of Burlington building. You can see it's sitting right in the water. A lot of sights here, and the noise you hear in the background are pumps running to pump out basements. And there's a stop sign you can see there, almost underwater, going into the parking lot. And this is uh, the Memorial Auditorium sitting in the water. Corner of Maine and Washington, there's Shop and Baxter. They've been pumping water out for about three days. All this water's going out into the streets, and then, of course, that's you know causing more water to back up down by Maine and Division. Um, river Bart uh, sandbagged yesterday, but they won't have a problem there unless the river comes up 27 feet. It's at 25 now. And looking down Maine, you can see the other end is all flooded. And people are down there. Um, pumps running out of the businesses. And then along here is a postal semi. They can't park along the back of the post office, so they're parked here now. This is looking towards the river from Jefferson Street. You can see all the sandbags um, all along here. But they've sandbagged for Burlington Bank and Trust. There's really not much else they can do. They think it may have crested now. A lot of sightseers, like myself. <clears throat> the constant noise of pumps pumping out basements. The next block up towards Division is the water's way over the road there. Cars that aren't supposed to be on this road are trying to get out or park. See people um, filling sandbags. I don't know where those sandbags are going for sure, but it's, it's more flooded down here. Uh, there's the lawyer's office. They have their place completely surrounded by sandbags. The water level now is about 25 feet. These businesses here, water is completely across the road. They're pumping out everything they can out of their basements. And as you can barely see down here towards Division, water's over the road for well, probably about two or three blocks all the way through there. Maybe I get a little closer view. A little closer view, I don't know if you can hear me, there's just so much noise here from the pumps trying to keep water out of the businesses across the street here on Main. Well, got quite a wall of sandbags built up there. Looking towards the railroad tracks and division. and announcements for you. Services at the United Methodist Church in Kingston have been canceled. Bridgeport Road south of the Skunk River is closed because of high water. Portions of the Skunk River Road are covered by water as well. If possible, please avoid that area entirely. The Des Moines County Engineer's Office is asking that motorists not move barricades or disobey the road closing signs because they were put there for your safety. The Hancock County Health Department is offering tetanus booster shots today at the Warsaw Ambulance Shed. Highway 99 is closed from H38 north of Kingston all the way south to the Pegtown Road. Highway 164 between Gladstone and Aquaca is closed. Elm and Main Streets in Burlington is closed. Water is coming over the levee... Uh, 
about a mile and a half from Nyota. The town is not in jeopardy, but they need people to sandbag there. If you work at the basket company, they're shutting down Bluff Road. You're still supposed to go to work, though. You can come in from Oak Street and then can only drive on the north end of Bluff Road. Fort Madison JV Baseball has been canceled for today. Sandbaggers needed in Nauvoo at the water plant. Also in Gladstone, Gulfport, Carthage Lake, Kingston, Oakville, where they need ATVs as well. Dumbbell Lake Levee, Stony Hollow Road area, Dallas City. Uh, Fort Madison Riverfront at Riverview Park and the Lee County Historical Society at 9th and Avenue H. MacArthur Bridge not allowing trucks over 8 tons to cross. Vehicles asked to keep their speed down to 5 miles per hour. Other church services canceled. The Carmen Church is surrounded by water. People are invited to attend instead the church's services at uh, Stronghurst United Methodist Church at 1045. Services at the Church of God in Oakville are canceled for Sunday. No services at the Oakville Methodist Church. And church league games at the airport for tonight have been canceled. Sandbaggers are needed in the Green Bay Drainage District in Lee County. Uh, the, v, Fort Madison, the Fort Madison Mississippi River Bridge is now closed to all but emergency vehicles. Fort Madison Police Department says it's uncertain for sure how long that bridge will be uh, closed. Henderson County Sheriff's Office is asking people who have their boats tied up at the J&J &J Crossing in the Illinois Levee north of Gulfport. They must remove those boats. They're tearing up the levee. Sandbaggers are needed immediately at the Des Moines County Pumping Station number 4 south of Oakville. Sandbaggers also needed at the Dick Myers property south of Burlington off Highway 61. Turn right at the Skunk River Road. And the American Red Cross has set up shop for flood victims in the community room at Westland Mall. Hours are 9 till 6, Monday through Saturday, 1 to 6 on Sunday. If you need further information, call 753-1348. That's the complete listing of announcements that we have for you at this time. We'll update that again just before 5 on KGRS. This is close to the bridge crossing in Fort Madison and the convenience store there on the corner. They've just closed the bridge going into Nyota because Nyota's uh, levy just broke there. The one before it, there's still, the town is not underwater yet. Shut up. Soon their historic center, they're sandbagging here yet, trying to keep water out of the museum area in the historic center here. They've got a lot of water in their Riverview Park, as you can see. There's the fort off in the distance there. Completely surrounded by water now. Pump's been running about a week. They just keep building the wall higher. This is looking uh, down into Kilkix River front. Park. It's all flooded. See the river museum there, the Verity? It's really flooded. See how high it is there. Okay, this is a big crane that's right here off the side, and I don't know why that's there. It's sitting under the new bridge. See another one of these uh, little picnic places there that looks flooded. Am and the little uh, park area or parking lot that's down here next to the locks, completely flooded. This side of the river is getting almost as high as the other side of the river.